the different modes that you can have for the vibrational spectroscopy. Four will be there. Two uh, one dimensional and two two dimensional. There will be two frequencies for two dimensional, but they actually correspond to four energy levels, but two two are degenerate. So any questions? I think this is fully packed. You cannot find the frequency. If you want to find the frequency, you require the information about the information of the force constants or the bond strength. That is not available within this. So you can only say how many will be there, but you cannot find what the frequency is. You require an additional input from physics about the force constants. Uh, you can, you can, which are, which are the possible vibrations you can predict, but you have to do little more work. So there what you have to do is, you have to write another representation saying stretching. You only, you only talk about coordinates that have stretching or bending and then write a representation for that and see which subset of these modes are decomposed in that. So you can m make that kind of an estimate. That kind of a prediction you can make. But you cannot get the frequencies. These are vibrational states. You cannot say all are ground states. These are different, different, uh, because ground state means there is only one state, right? No, when you say frequencies, uh, each frequency will have its own energy levels. But how many frequencies are there? That's what this tells you. Like for example, there is a vibration like this or there is a vibration like this. So this is one mode and this is another mode. This is exactly like normal modes that we do in <coughs> enumeration, we do in uh, crystals or classical mechanics systems.